Hi and welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If it's your first time, stick with us because today we're off to Tynemouth. just coming through the Tyne Tunnel. Um, oh, we've got a little bit of traffic in here as well. Normally it's pretty free since it was upgraded. So this tunnel was actually built in originally uh, 1967 and then it was around about um, 2002 I believe Alison? 11. 2011 when they revamped it. It used to just be this single tunnel with north and south traffic but it was always a nightmare for traffic. Um, gridlocks all the time, they had the toll booths on the other end which caused a lot of issues. Um, so they extended in 2011 and actually built another tunnel which runs alongside. So now we have um, two lanes running north and two lanes running south. Um, and they've done away with the, the toll booths and everything is now paid online or with tokens that you can uh, purchase pre, you know, pre-journey. How long is it? So, uh, I believe it's around about five and a half thousand feet. Uh, that's how long it actually is. So, when you're actually driving in it, you might not be able to see this on the camera very well, but it does actually go down. It's got quite a gradient down and then back up. Um, Obviously makes you feel like you're going really deep in the tunnel yeah, underneath the water. Uh, yeah, Alison's not that keen on uh, coming through the tunnel. But I mean, neither am I when it springs a leak. Oh, and as a 30 mile an hour speed limit on it, I think. Um, Back into the sunshine and the daylight. Anyway, let's carry on with this journey. <laughs> right, this is it. This is uh, Time Mouth and Whitley Bay. So um, I'll just turn around and that's us finished for the day. Funny. <laughs> yeah, we'll even let you have a look. Yeah, definitely looks busy along here today. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to carry on a little bit further along. Okay. We're going to head, head to St Mary's Lighthouse. Um, then we'll be able to give you a bit of a tour of that. And then once we've finished at St Mary's, we're going to head back along the coast towards Tynemouth uh, Centre itself. So, yeah, just keep watching and uh, see what's what. Just go up and get parked. So there's normally quite a bit of parking along by St Mary's, but looking at Certainly the car parks along here by the life, uh, there's a Sea Life Centre that we've just passed. Um, obviously that car park was absolutely rammed. But the reason we've came down at this time is because we particularly wanted to go to St Mary's and St Mary's actually has a, a causeway that you walk across to get to St Mary's Island with the lighthouse on. Uh, it's just a short causeway but We've came at this time because we needed low tide um, and it's working out perfect. It's nice down there. So, yeah, just looking down in uh, Colour Quartz Bay. Is that for a Victorian swimming pool? Uh, not at this point. There's an old Victorian swimming pool a little bit further on in Brown's Bay. Oh, yeah. um, Brown's Bay 
just to do a little bit of scuba diving off there in my time. So this pot of Whitley beers I've millions spent on it over the years. Um, it's just the last few years where they've really vamped everything up and it's, it's, it's looking in a really nice place. Um, if you can see that building in front which is now a beef eater and a premier inn um, and I think they've got a really nice cafe on the other side of it. But that little, I don't know if you can see well we get past this car, to the right there's a little bit of a dome on the top. So this was actually Spanish city where the fairground used to be. Um, and any of you Dire Straits fans out there, this is what he was singing about. Was he? Alright, it was Spanish City. I remember the words off the top of me there. I'd give you a rendition, but I cannot. Oh, they've actually still called it Spanish City on the back end of here. So that's Spanish City. It did used to be a big fairground um, many years ago. But obviously now they've done away with that, it was just becoming a bit derelict and barren. So just as we're getting a little bit closer to St Mary's, um, obviously I'm, I can say we, there's car parks along the coastline and all of them's absolutely rammed. Now St Mary's itself actually has a couple of car parks, so there's one that you can pull in on the, the road lane towards it and then there's the bigger car park at the end uh, near the causeway. So we'll, we'll try and get to the one nearest the causeway just so we're not having to walk too far. So this is like the first car park. Um, we're going to try and get a little bit further along. So this is the car park that I want to be in. There's these toilets as well here. Um, yeah, if I try and get up here, because we've got. Oh, yeah, I've got blue pad, so if I can get up here as well. Look like we'll get. Yeah. Oh. Is that more bikes or something on that one? In the corner. Yeah, I think we'll up by the toilets was disabled on here. <coughs> yeah, site or something. Do you know what that's it? But you can park. Oh, this was going the wrong way around the uh, car park. See the tides all out now, which is great, and then obviously you can see the lighthouse in the distance. And beautiful rock pool and place for the kids. <laughs> Off at Allison. So this is the other side. Just sort of make our way now across towards the uh, causeway. <laughs> Rockin's desperate to get into the water. <laughs> yeah, it's quite busy today. See on the causeway, kids in the rock pools. So we went all of them. Comes. Rockin. <laughs> no, don't be drinking it. Half brush. This 
area is actually a nature reserve now. Um, so dogs need to be kept on the leads. Uh, no flying drones. Uh, they do have quite a few um, seabirds that come around here and also a lot of seals. Hence why they're trying to keep the dogs on the leads. I'm trying to grab a few photos. <laughs> Back across that way where the sun is, that's Whitley Bay, so we'll be heading back along that way um, once we're finished over here. A couple of wedding cars coming across here. Um, I'm not sure if they're stopping or whether there's accommodation to, for a bit of an afternoon party. This big American Cadillac. <laughs> Don't normally say them at St Mary's. It's Alison still on the causeway. She's Looking for whatever, shells, nice looking stones. She does a lot of painting, so she's always looking for ideas and inspiration on the shoreline. Just turn it around there. Waves are quite strong today, but uh, obviously the tide's out at the moment. It's not due back in for another five hours, I think. So getting up to the top is quite accessible, and uh, we've got a ramp all the way up. Where I'm pointing at now, so we've got the lighthouse there. Yeah, and then we've got Shag Rock. There's two, there's two shipwrecks just off the off that main rock. Um, I can't remember the names. I know one of them's the Janet Clark uh, that went down uh, a while back. Both shipwrecks literally lie in about 12 meters of water at the deepest point. Um, so there's one just to the right of that little pillar that's there, Shag Rock, and the other one is from that pillar, uh, sort of 12 o'clock forward. Uh, both quite good wrecks to dive on, um, obviously there's not a great day left of them, but uh, if you get a nice clear water, it's It's quite an impressive lighthouse. Considering it's on a miniature island. <laughs> so we're now around the back of the lighthouse. Um, there's sails here. Pretty hard to spot. I'll try and point them out uh, during the edit. Uh, there's quite a few on the top of the rocks. Oh, they're just basking in the sun. A separate cottage there as well. Alison's managed to blog off the seat, so I'm going to go and sit down for a little while. So, St Mary's Lighthouse, uh, tremendous place to visit. Um, Coming here with the, the kids, see the sails, they're normally basking in the sun. Um, there's a little one just across the way from us at the moment. You enjoying Alison? Yeah, I've got more photos. Got more photos to paint there. So, just behind us there, we've got with the lighthouse up behind us. And I'll just flick you around, show you that bit across there. Again, really rugged coastline. Most of this is, well, maybe all of it's underwater at high tide. <laughs> Dragons are getting a bit excited, he's dying to get back in the water again. And your son? <laughs> dying to get in the water. So we have to get off the lead. Get off the lead. Absolutely beautiful day today. The weather hasn't been very good during the week, but today is definitely the best day. So a little bit windy and a little bit chilly, but nice bright sunny skies. There he is, back in the water. So as I say, this is the main car park, and it does often have somewhere to get a nice cup and a sandwich. 
and it's you see it's not far down to the causeway and the lighthouse. So we're just going to head back to the, the van at the minute, um, chill out for a few minutes, and then uh, head off back along the coast a little bit towards Tynemouth, and we're just taking a bit more scenery wherever we come across. So yeah, catch you in a bit. That's called a quartz bay. Oh my god, that's a good beach to search. Uh, this is the bit in the Dire Strait song where it's coloured quartz on a rainy day. Right. It's not actually coloured rain quartz on a rainy day, it's coloured quartz. Yeah, Whitley Bay Beach, another beautiful beach. Golden Sands, big stretch, quite shallow water as well. So, uh, yeah, quite a few uh, surfers coming up to this beach. I think there's actually a surf shack right nearby all your surf gear along here as well. So we're now in Tynemouth. Uh, it's a nice little town. Restaurants, bars, coffee shops. Uh, I'll flick you around and let you have a quick glance. Nice interesting shop. Some nice stuff in there. No stupid people beyond this point. Right, so we're just going to pull out a time mouth at the minute. It's absolutely rammed with people and other dogs and it's a bit of a nightmare for us to wander around. So our next port of call, hopefully, is just about five minutes away. Where the plan is if we can get parked up, I'm going to make us some lunch. Um, and just chill out for a little bit. So, see where we're heading next. So hopefully the plan is we'll get down here and we can get down onto the beach area. Give it a bit of a shore round once we get down there. If not, then we'll have to head along to the dock area and try and get part there for a little bit and then try and hit the beach bit a little bit better. Looks like there's plenty of cars down here and I'm assuming this beach is going to be just as busy but hopefully might hit lucky with a uh, parking spot. Isn't looking too promising, like. <laughs> but 
Ano mo no? Try in here, in here. Might just hit with me on the end somewhere. Especially when I uh, sit up in there. Sit and watch the beach. Work the wood. This morning, might as well leave the night there. Gone overboard with the salsa. <laughs> Bracken, you get your head out. Yeah, somebody's looking forward to getting his nose involved. I really like spring onions. Allison's not a massive fan, but mine's getting spring onion treatment. on that. So the next one is some nice mature cheddar. I'm just gonna put half and half on each one of them. So next job is finally slice some vine tomatoes. Who'd love tomatoes, mate? Alright, get these on top of that cheese. What's the chances of me being able to shut this ridge won't be mm, slim? <laughs> right, and the final bit <coughs> is a little bit of mozzarella cheese. I'm hoping this is just going to keep it all together. Lit. I'm just going to actually turn it down quite low so I want the heat to try and build up in the ridge monkey if possible. Yeah, the lid shuts, that's a good thing. So I think I'll probably just give that about five minutes as it is and then uh, we'll check on it in a bit. Let's just have a look how this is getting done now. Oh, it's looking nice. I think that'll actually do. Don't want to take it too far because I don't want particularly burnt on the bottom. That's probably took about seven minutes. I've had it on a, a really low gas and finish it off with a little bit of, uh, bit of black pepper, I think. Well, must admit it, it does actually look quite nice. And it's definitely hot. A little bit of burnt on the bottom, but not too much. Mm. That's nice. Mm. <laughs> Bracken's in the front seat, jealous because I'm eating and he's not. So I'm eating this. 
And I'm thinking, what would I do different? Well, what I would do different is get a bigger ridge monkey and make twice as much because it's beautiful. Right, so if you made it this far through the video, um, fantastic. I would like to say at this point, a massive thanks to everyone who's watching and I hope you're enjoying the videos. Um, a special thanks to everyone that's subscribed. Um, our subscription numbers are going up and up and up each day, so I really, really appreciate that. Um, we've had a great day today. The wind is absolutely cutting. Um, so we are going to start and head back now. So catch you a little bit later as we go through. What have you enjoyed today? Thoroughly enjoyed the day. And um, I, I think Bracken's enjoyed it because he is absolutely knackered. Uh, hope you've enjoyed our little trip out today. Um, all the good stuff. Like, subscribe, leave us any comments and see you on the next one.